Hi everybody, some amazing information has just dropped on the Armour Twitter account and that is they have just updated the Armour Reforger workshop to include dependency IDs. So this is incredibly useful, um, incredibly helpful and will transform the way that we can add mods to our community servers, especially if you're on console and don't have access to Armour Reforger on PC. So basically you can arrange the mods however you like and this, this is going to be proving over time but let's say you go into a very popular mod say the uh, M4A1 MK18 mod by RiverX you click in there gives you some details and there we have the ID how easy is that and also incredibly importantly as well we have all the dependencies so these are the other mods that you must have installed for this mod to work properly link in the description down below so everybody who kind of understands about that will probably have clicked away now if you want a little bit more information <laughs> okay so the way it kind of works is this if you've taken out a armor reforger community server you know you're, you're renting one from say nitrado the first thing you want to do is you want to go into the settings um, and you want to give yourself an admin password very very important this because at the moment time of recording this video um, if you want to spawn in things like the helicopters or the better vehicles or armory crates with like the M416 and the Mark 18 into it, you have to spawn them in via the Game Master menu. And the way you get access to the Game Master menu on a community server is by logging in as the admin. So give yourself an admin password. When you're in the game, on PC you press enter, on Xbox you press LB and Y, and then you type hashtag, and then in lowercase you type login, space, your password, press enter or press LB and Y, and then when you press the pause menu, you will have access to the game master, just like you would, you know, when you access the game master when you're just in the game locally, and then you can spawn in the Blackhawk helicopter, armory kits, more units, all that sort of thing. Now, some stuff doesn't work. For example, the some, the zombies mods don't seem to work. The zombies they spawn in don't seem to be aggressive and seem to be missing missing heads. But remember, this is early days. Also, HMAS um, Vampire seems to crash servers as well. So don't install the, the Australian Defender mod. So anyway, so give yourself an admin password. Then you want to go to your config files. So here's my config file, for example, here. Don't worry, I've changed the um, password. And when you scroll down, you have a section about mods. And this is the bit that was difficult before because the only way to get the mod ID was to go into the Armory Forger tools or to go into a folder in your documents um, folder on your PC where Armory Forger downloaded the mods. So it was all a bit long-winded. And this is where you put them. Now, if you're wondering about the format that you put these in, I have done a video about it, but I'll also link in the description below this video to the Armour Reforger server hosting wiki page, which if you scroll down, it tells you all about the parameters for this config file. And there we go, it shows you exactly how the format goes for um, for mods. Basically, always have the, mer the don't never put a version number in it either. Always um, get rid of the number, just have it as two inverted commas. Um, so there we go. I was actually going to do a video about this tomorrow on my day off about this because I, and what I was going to do I was going to go in and I was going to manually download all, well most of the mods and then go in and find out the uh, numbers but there we go so there's the black hawk there's the ID no dependencies man this makes things so so easy now before you go though I will I will say one thing all right about your server is remember this is early days for Armour Forger it's early days for community servers it's early days for cross-play between Xbox and PC. And this is the first instance, really, where we've had an art... Well, it is the first instance we've had a, a, a kind of modern-day armor game on console. And there's some teething troubles about getting mods working. But they will work. You know, they, uh, um, Bohemian Interactive will get this stuff working. But when you're adding mods to your server, just add, like, one at a time and test it. See if it works. See if you can spawn the things in. Make sure it doesn't crash the game. And then spawn another one. So... Uh, a clash I found, for example, was between the Black Hawk helicopter mod and the landmine mod. And what I found was, if I had both of those on, when I went to spawn in a Black Hawk helicopter, instead a landmine would spawn in. <laughs> so I had to disable the landmines mod. I had to take it away. So remember, these are early days. We are in, we are in effect beta testers for Armour Reforger, um, and we're we're all part of this um, this scheme, this plan um, to take Armour Reforger forward to 1.0 work towards armor 4 in a couple of years time so when you do come across bugs and problems don't get don't get angry about them it's all part of the learning process make sure you go to 
the um there we go make sure you go to the armor of forger feedback tracker again i'll put this in the description below the video and make sure you leave feedback for bugs or feature requests and all that sort of stuff very very important indeed okay so that's enough for me top work bohemian interactive really good update in the workshop so fast um very very pleased if you enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon